side. Uh, but any iPhones, you need to trust your trust the app. So you'll just go into general settings, or go to settings and then go to general, and then there'll be device management near the bottom, and you'll click on that and it'll say vector marketing, and you just trust it. Okay, that just be, is because we have to. It just makes it so that not anybody and everybody can get onto it. That's how we have to do it through Apple. Okay, this means so it's very specific just to vector reps. Cool. So download it, don't open it up. Once it's downloaded, just put your phone down. I'm gonna tell you guys how to open it up. I'm actually gonna walk you through the whole app so you know what this is. Please enter this phone's area code to my phone number area code. Yeah, but don't open it. Don't open it. Just put it down. Let's put it down. Once you guys start, I just want you guys to, get to start downloading it, so if it takes a little bit, you can do that. Okay, but I'm opening up this um, PowerPoint right now, so I'm gonna walk you through. Everyone have it downloaded? Did you get the email? Yeah, but it just says to go to vectorconnect.com. Which, I've had no. like five emails from you. But I know. That's the most recent. We probably had to send it multiple times. Okay. So when it says yeah, you I got two of them. Just the one that's the team builder, a team builder. And then click on it to say download app. It should say for which phone, Android, Apple, all that stuff. So when it says like your personal group entry number is? And your rep number that's in there, that recruit ID number, you want to put that on the top of your manual right here. Put that number right here, because you're going to need that. Because I heard like this one. Okay. Is that, did you write in that one? Yeah. Okay. Here, no worries. No worries. Okay, go ahead and pause it now. It was the other email. Okay. Perfect. Everyone, everyone paying attention? All right, guys, this is another contest. I'm excited for this contest. This is awesome because it's great. That's all I can tell you. It's awesome. So this is actually one of my favorite programs, too, in our company, and this is why we do so well. Your question? So when it texts the people, do they know that? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Don't worry. I haven't talked about any of that yet. I know, but when I was getting my tuna, like, I already did, like, what? No! Okay, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. But who in here was referred by a friend? Raise your hand again. Did we text you, Tomas? Or did you apply online? I applied online. You apply online? Brennan? Online. Online? You texted me. And we texted you. So, four, four of you guys, okay? More than half of you guys in here heard about this through a friend. That's a pretty big importance. We'd have a really small training otherwise, right? Not boring. Jeez, Brennan, don't say it was boring. Mm. Not boring, all right? We just have a small training, right? The PR program is a really big thing for us. What that means is if you were tech, if you were referred by a friend, if we texted you, you're PR. And you might be helping someone get some free stuff right now. You don't even know that. Pretty cool, right? Mackenzie, you're getting Jay some free stuff here. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't even know that, all right? So here's the thing. Obviously, it's a really great program for our office, but how does it help you guys? When you have a friend on the team, how does it help you guys? More trusting. Friendly competition. More trusting. Yeah, it automatically, automatically makes it builds this trust bridge between you and the company because you know your friend works there. Yeah. Number two, it's friendly competition. Absolutely. My friend Josh Moreno, when he he started a week after I did, and um, it was a lot. It was a lot of fun because we were both in school and we were getting close to our dirty thirty marks. We set this competition between each of us to say, hey. If you hit dirty 31st or if I hit dirty 31st, the loser has to kiss the other person's foot in front of training. Or not in front of training, but in front of team meeting. <laughs> I won. <laughs> Just so you know. I won. It was great. It was great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Friendly competition, which does that increase your, both of your income? Yeah. Yeah, because it pushes you doing more demos. Does that increase your promotions? Yeah. Does that increase fun? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. When you're, on a, when, you're on the, when you're on the team and you come to the team meeting, your friends are already there. What if you had 10 of your closest friends here in training? Oh, we wouldn't get things done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but wouldn't it be fun? Like, think about it. You'd be like walking in and be like home, right? It'd be fun. It'd be fr It'd be like high school all over again, right? It'd be a lot more fun, and you can push each other. So uh, for you, it helps you out for all those reasons. And some prizes that you don't even know is coming up. Number two, how does it help them? They get prizes. They, they get prizes. They don't get prizes off of you recommending them. But, they well, they could. They, yeah, they get fast-out prizes. That's the prices. What else? A paycheck. They get a paycheck. They have a job. They get a job, right? Super important. 
Well, now also makes it more fun for them because they have a friend on the team, builds that trust for them, right? And then obviously it helps the office because it helps the office in general grow. So today, right now, when you guys have the opportunity to refer more friends, which you were telling me one more friend, you're like, you give me a job there because he hates his current job, right? So here's the deal, you guys. I'm gonna walk you through this. I'm gonna walk you through the app that I just had you download and explain to you what's going to happen as you introduce your friends um, and what prizes you're gonna get. Um, so first off, you're gonna start out here, you're gonna put in your rep ID number, which is in that, that email. Do it, yeah. Don't do it right now, don't do it right now. I'm gonna explain it all first and then you'll be able to go through it. But you'll put your rep ID number, you'll put your first name and your last name, you'll log in. Now you put the phone's area code. So if that's an 801, 385, it's not the zip code, all right, just the area code. And then right here, it's gonna say, okay, perfect, let the intros begin. You're gonna introduce your friends to us, and they're gonna get a text message and everything. It's gonna say who referred them, but it's gonna put it in a really nice situation to build you up, and it's gonna build them up. It's really, really cool. By the way, this way is much easier than like getting a call randomly out of the blue. Oh, so-and-so referred you. Uh, what, you know? So it's a text message. You mean like what we do? No, 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 no. It's different, they know you, they know you. Um, so. Versus us, we don't know your friend and they don't know. So us calling them, that'd be way weird, right? Um, which is what we used to do and we've learned, okay? This is a better way. Take advantage of text. Text is so much easier, it's much nicer, they can ignore it. In fact, they have, thanks for helping our team, we'll introduce ourselves with a text. We'll offer them a chance to interview. We'll treat everyone with 100% respect. We'll not bug people. They're free to ignore it. It takes only five seconds to read a text, right? They can ignore it. And even if they do ignore it, it does not reflect badly on you. Okay, so no matter how they respond, it doesn't reflect badly on you. All right, just so you know. So then you say, let the intros begin. It's gonna access your contacts. You'll say yes, okay. It's not gonna change anything on your contacts. It's not gonna do anything with them. It's just gonna import them once so you can change names. Because some of you guys might have hot lips in your phone, right? Just <laughs> <laughs> saying, you obviously don't wanna introduce hot lips to us, so you'll change that name on the phone or on the system and then you'll send it to us, okay? But don't worry, I'm gonna keep explaining. So this is where it's gonna import them all in, and you're gonna be able to, it's gonna automatically select all of them, and you'll deselect any that you don't want. Now here's the deal, don't judge anyone. This contest for you and things like that that you never know when someone needs a job, right? I'd rather them get a text message, and then they send me a text asking, is this legit? Because that's what most people will ask. You probably ask some of your friends that. Is this uh -huh. legit? You know, found out Jay didn't even answer back. But yeah, you'll, you'll ask them that simple question, and then it'll be easy. Hold off for just one second. Um, so, however, um, but don't judge anybody. This is the reason why. Because there was this guy, Jake Eckel, he holds the region record right now for having, I think it was 26 of his friends on the team in one summer. 26. He won a lot of butt free from prizes, which I'm about to explain to you. But he won 26 prizes, or 20, 26 friends on the team. First off, it was a really fun summer. And he was going through his phone, as he was going through this, deciding who to select, he got to this one name and he's like, Garrett Christensen, is it Garrett Christensen or, Ethan? I can't remember the name exactly, but it Garrett something. And he's like, I don't know if I want the company knowing I know this guy. He's kind of a questionable character. This is the guy that like on spring break in Miami, Florida, was selected from MTV to do the crazy things in the crowd. Like not just be a part of the crowd and be a part of that, but be the one that he pulled out of the crowd to do crazy things. Like that's how crazy this guy is. Okay, Phil Bolander personally knows him, our division manager, and he's like, every time they go to a different country, he's like, someone's gonna die. Like, someone's gonna go to jail. Like, this guy's crazy. <laughs> but let me tell you about this, okay? This Jake Eckel in training, as he's going through his names, he's like, you know what? My manager said not to judge anybody. I won't, whatever. Probably won't even get the job anyways. Went through, this guy comes in for an interview. The interviewers accept him. Did something right in an interview. He accepted them. This guy went on to sell $400,000 worth of cut cup. $400,000 for the cut cup. Not only that, he opened an office. I don't know if it was a branch office or a district office, but he won prizes, pro, pro, uh, trips with the company, so he obviously did pretty well. Can you imagine how many lives he changed in that process just because Jake decided not to trust, him, not to judge one of his friends? Who he had no idea what would have happened. It's not a big offense. It's not like, I mean, were any of you guys offended when you got a text? No, so, not, so your friends aren't gonna be the same way. They might ask you, is this legit? And then say, yeah, check it out. I just finished training, it's awesome. I love my boss, she's awesome. <laughs> hey guys, probably don't say love, but you know, like, does that make sense? Like, it's just gonna be fine, it's gonna be totally fine. 
But don't judge people. You never know what situation they're in. Some of them, does anyone know anyone who has a job who they hate their job? Does someone know someone who loves their job but doesn't make enough money? You're like, no, I don't know people who love their job too often, right? But you can love your job here. There are so many different reasons. You never know what someone's going through. Plus, how many of you guys know college students? College students. Um, who needs a flexible job around classes, right? That is why you don't judge people. So as you go through, even if it's an ex, ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend, they might even be in a different office. You never know, and you'll get, you'll get credit for that. Now, here's the deal. Um, we can give you credit. We can give, we can, I could pay monster.com to put out more, in, more advertisements. I could go pay, um, I could pay, nobody heard about this in the mail, but I, at the beginning of summer, I sent out a bunch of letters in the mail to certain <coughs> people to try and you know, advertise about the job so I could interview and find the people that I wanted to bring on. I spent a lot of money doing that. Thousands of dollars, thousands, like $5,000 sending out mailers. I could do the same thing. And I could continue to do it that way, or I could give you a little kickback, like the gym would give you a kickback if you found someone and referred someone to the gym, right? So I'd rather work through you because I like you, I have you on my team already, and I think birds of a feather flock together, so if they're anything like you, I want more of you. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I'll give you a little kickback. So I'll tell you guys, there's two contests you're in with this, and it's super amazing. I, but first is just selecting the names, okay? Now you'll take off mom, you'll take off dad, you'll take off Domino's Pizza or the rejection hotline, okay? Because those don't count in the contest. You'll take out those people. Other than that though, I worked with a 76 year old man last year, or two years ago. Super cute guy, he always had to turn down his earring aids when he was in with the music, but other than that, he went out and he was on Twilla and he just did appointments. He couldn't find a job anywhere else. Luckily he was referred to us. Otherwise he would never have had that job. Pretty cool. All right, how many of your college student friends had a trouble finding a job all summer long? With referring friends local or can they be? Oh, all over. Anyone. Here's the deal, I believe in Cutco Karma. If I provide for another office, they'll provide for me. Yeah, that's what and they'll help question. our office. Most of my friends are in Cali, so yeah. Totally, yeah. put them all. We've got, we've got over 800 offices nationwide. If they text back and they're looking for a job, absolutely, and then I guess who gets credit for it? You do. And not only with the company, but you get credit also because your friend now loves you because you just got them a job, right? Pretty cool. So yeah, refer everybody. Anywhere in the nation, we have offices. Now, um, so you'll go through. The next step though is editing the contacts. Like I told you, you don't want to refer hot lips, but you might remember their name. So if you remember <laughs> their name, hopefully you do, you can edit their name so then they get a text message saying their proper name and you refer to them versus, hey hot lips, <laughs> Brennan referred you. <laughs> that would be either. That would not be good. Or douchebag, right? You don't want a douchebag in there either. So fix those names. It will only fix it temporarily in a year. In your phone, it will still remain as hot lips or douchebag, okay? So no problem there. You still know not to answer the call from douchebag. So don't worry. But refer them because you never know. You never know. Sometimes people just need to be given an opportunity and they perform really well, okay? So there's that. So you'll put them all in. And then at the end, you'll push next, and it'll say thank you. You select the 818 names, 89% of your total contacts. The next step is to create a low-key introduction. So this is the page I want you to show me or Tyler. I have a call here in four minutes. So I'll have you show Tyler this page, and um, you'll let us know, um, and then we'll know what gift to give you. Okay? So this is not gift, but what, what prize level you want. Wait, already. Here's the deal. This is the contest. Okay? This is the contest. If you submit just... 50 names. I guarantee all of you have 50 names on your phone. If you submit 50 names, they have to just be 17 and graduated or 18 and older. That's the only rule of the game. They can't be a junior. Oh. They have to be completely graduated from high school um, or 18 and older. If they're a senior and they're 18, that's fine. But 50 names or more. First off, let me ask you this question. How many people do you think actually fall short of their next prize level in their fast start contest by like 500 bucks? Do you think that happens quite often? Yeah. yeah, that probably happens quite a bit. That'd be so bad. No. I'd buy it myself just to hit it. <laughs> <laughs> what if I told you? You're just going to give us $100. I'm not going to give you $500, but I will pay that difference. I will buy you the next prize level if it's within $500. Just because you've been 
even if it's the wrong number, even if they don't answer, even if they don't text back. Said, yeah. So yeah. 50 names. Okay. 100 names. I'll give you $1,000 for the next contact. Oh. <laughs> that means that just by submitting 100 names today, you, you win the spatula spreader. Already. Woo. Already. You guys, that's so awesome. I'm now here's the deal. There's two more contests. One. <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Change the name. I don't care if it's to Maria. Okay, so um, all of you guys, if the top person in this room above 125, only one of you guys. Uh -oh. Ah! I need to get more. Shoot. That's really good. Where are they? Oh, we do have. Hmm. We do have one. I will buy. I will buy. I will give you today your very own. That's just pizza. Okay, that was horrible. Pizza cutter. Yeah. Remember how awesome that thing was? No, Doesn't cut you, but cuts everything else. We yeah. We didn't get to see it in action besides it not cutting you because you just slid it across your hand suddenly. Oh yeah, and it freaked you all out. Thought I was a big giant. Um, <laughs> absolutely, the pizza cutter. You guys, the pizza cutter is flipping amazing. By having that, you will sell it. It is awesome. So top person wins that. But you have to show us the screen. All right. After this. You're gonna do this. You're gonna send a text message. You're gonna send, this is a choice, this is a text message you use. I, there's two different text messages you can choose. The first one says, I have somebody you should interview. They might be pretty busy, but would definitely check it out. Now I prefer personally like the second one. It just, it seems more low key. I, ha I, want, I want to recommend someone to the team. I don't know if they're looking for part-time work, but it's definitely worth interviewing if you have the time. So you'll send that text message. It will send from the app. It's not gonna go in your, you know, your messages, all like that. It's not gonna go like that, but it'll just go from the app. You won't even have to worry about it. It'll automatically send, and it's super nice. So that gets forwarded to them, then they'll get a copy of that in a text message so they know that it's legit. Now, let me show you the ultimate, the final, so those are the two options. This is what they say here. Hi, Steven, this is Alice. I work with Mike Monroe, who has some nice things to say about you. Makes you look good. Has some nice things to say about you. Our office has some immediate summer op openings, so we asked the team if they knew anybody they would recommend, which is how I got your number. If your schedule is full, you can ignore this, and I apologize for intruding, but if you want to learn more, click the link below for the position description. It's flexible around school, other jobs, the people are fun, and the pay is pretty solid. That's what I got. Yep, exactly. Georgia will send this out. Georgia is a tech, um, our person that sends out these text messages, and then they get to respond to Georgia. If they say yes, great. If they don't say anything, great. All right, so that's that. At the very end, you can do something called special introductions. If there's anyone specifically that, um, I mean, I try to help out as much as I can here in the office, but if there's anyone specifically you want me to reach out to, I, you know, choose a small amount, choose your top five, and we'll reach out to them, either me or Tyler, okay? So that's specific people, um, and you can let us specifically reach out to them, and we'll do a chat, we'll do a whole different thing with them. Um, but I, I just try to help out more, because here's the final contest. The final contest is if you have two people that, that go through the interview process, get the job, come in, do training, and sell $250, and that's it, I will buy you the cheese knife. I will buy you the cheese knife, you guys. You know, I mean, those things, flipping everybody will buy them just because you have it. If you try it on a potato, it is the most magnificent thing. You compare the trimmer with a tomato or a potato, oh, it's like night and day difference. Cutco beats Cutco. You guys want that cheese knife. Four people. If four people do this and you get four of your friends join the team, I'll buy you the K Bar Outdoorsman. No, the K Bar Explorer knife. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Six friends on the team, I'll buy you a one hour massage. Ooh, that's a little. Oh, dude. Given by Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, you guys. It will be professional. Sorry. <laughs> um, Tyler's not professional. Um, yeah, he's kind of offended by that statement, but it, it, sorry, Tyler. It's just. No, you can't do that. Eight <laughs> friends on the team. Eight friends on the team. I'll buy you a 32 inch flat screen TV. What? Just be, I mean, I'm telling you, I'm paying <laughs> thousands of dollars every other way. I might as well hook you up for helping us. 10 friends on the team. I'll buy you an iPad Air. Pull open your phones. Let's get started on this. Okay. And don't judge people. I'm telling you, it's a race to the finish, okay? We're going to see who does it, and then you can go ahead and end that.